cards are now up. Cards are now up. So many things behind can't help but consider that last look so long ago gliding off from the spice field of the Capitano and slowly beginning beginning to go up in flames red crimson blood of the men who guarded it contrasting against the soil <coughs> matters is controlling where they land. You consider amongst it all something that was said earlier, something that was said <sighs> weeks ago. It's not necessarily a matter of doing what's best for Nautis. It's a matter of doing what's best for us. Hey. You didn't sleep there, did you? <sighs> Sore, but okay. Sneak up. I guess I was pretty dead to the world. <clears throat> yeah. You ready to start the day?
Shouldn't eat so fast. I get a stomach ache. <laughs> Your plans for today? Just following Venora around. Depends on what I'm needed for, I guess. I haven't really had the chance to have much sleep yet, aside from last night. <clears throat> I'm exhausted. I'm gonna see if I can find Olena. She didn't come home last night. Find me if you need me, okay? Is this one of those times I'm supposed to wake her up or just let her be? Tyler walking out past the forge and out of the freshly forged and constructed solid iron door that now adorns the house. You see, of course, totem of your mother and the fact that the coals in the forge oven are cold this morning. No one has started them. No one's started to do any work. You consider, of course, it feels like many times, unless you do something about it, well, nothing's going to get done. Although, with recent events in Nautis, you feel like the damn thing would burst into flames on its own, <laughs> given all that's happened and all that's about to happen. Miss Lodia. Oh, Shriek. Um, I have a receipt for you. A uh, receipt? You paid at the earliest convenience. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Medical receipt. Uh, for, um, yesterday? Mm-hmm. Comes down to a silver total. I apologize, I wasn't, uh, cognitive at the time. That's okay. You can pay it whenever or choose to pay it now. I didn't realize it was you. Thank Thanks. you. <sighs> Had someone gotten there a little bit earlier, perhaps it wouldn't be so sloppy. Sorry. But... Did the job. 
learning experience, right? I'll need to take those stitches out in about five days. Yeah. Um, I'll, uh, so way over to if you. it starts burning, tell me. That means it's infected. Got it. <clears throat> Sterile stitching, so it shouldn't get infected, but you never know. Thanks, Ladio. All right. Good day, Sharif. Oh. Father. Knife lessons at some point, if you can. If I get a spare moment, I'll try and find you. Kara, right. turning back, you see that Ro is very close with a stern look in his eye. I need to speak with Tazim. He left. He's out and about. I don't know where he is. What's wrong? I am no longer the town's brewer. The fuck does that mean? Inside, not I. Because they're most likely going to be here next. <clears throat> no longer going to be the town blacksmith. What they did to my brewery is going to happen here? Probably. And who is they? Everything. <clears throat> Everything is gone. All of my current work, everything I had in storage, everything. My brewery is a mess. I have ale, wine, liquor all over the place, and all of my tools have been destroyed. I can't produce ale anymore. <clears throat> you think this is the guards? It was the guards. The Capitano went down there himself. Fuck. Tyler, as these words wash over you, you can practically feel something else washing over you as well. Waves of anger, righteous anger pouring off of Jack Rojaheen. It seems like such a petty thing, such a petty move, given all the Capitano could do. You wonder if it's just to draw you out. Not <clears throat> simply you, but anyone who might have been connected, anyone he might suspect. Does this mean he suspects Jack? Do you have enough money left over for your family for the next couple of days at least? I do. But they're going to be coming back tomorrow, and I fear that they're going to probably take my wife and my daughter. That's not going to happen. It better well damn not, otherwise the Capitano is going to know what it is to have real fury in his face. We can't let our rage get the better of us. We need to hold our tongue for now. If not tonight, then the night tomorrow. We're going to move on this ship. Once that happens, we had to put the Capitano out there. Two more days. We just need to hold on for two Don't more know days. If I can truly last two more. They've already destroyed my brewery. My home and my family is next. After that, I am gone. There's not a lot I can do right now. Bro. Fuck. Well, what do you propose that you do? What do you want to do? Well, you want to march up there and. No. We have a plan. We need to stick to it. We can't allow this. He's trying to frazzle us. You know this. You're smart enough. Trying to watch for a mistake. Don't give him an opening. I know it's hard. I'm trying, but what, but what can I do if they come after Wolvire? What if they come after Kat? <clears throat> I can't they won't. hold myself back as they just take them. Probably start whipping them in the dungeon. She's barely a year old. <clears throat> Can you get them out of the city? Wolvire's already gone. She she left early this morning, but <clears throat> Katrina's still here. I don't know. Something happened. Nobody outside that I could trust. Wait outside, Severick. Would you trust her with Venora? 
or the wood tribes, if we can get them out of here, maybe in the grove. Yeah, I can do that. Let's do that now. I'll come with you. Right. I'll probably need to give you a few things just so that they can't take them. Sure. Hold on. Tizzy. Yes, what is it? Cliff has got some <coughs> bad news. I was watching, I saw. Sorry. Everything's destroyed. We'll help you get you back on your feet. Listen, the town's gonna be in its death throes. These men are going to start caring about how much they can fill their pockets before they skip town. If they think the Capitano is going to falter, they'll take what they can and run. <clears throat> it ain't worth it. We'll help you get it cleaned up. He's worried about the kid. I'm suggesting we move her with Venora into their home, just in case. A good idea. Furthermore... <laughs> This uh, shipment of iron ore that we got yesterday, that I managed to get. We can put it to something. Maybe armor for someone, or better weapons. Up to you. You can work with it, I won't touch it. Well, I... Should we get someone... Better armor, or something like that? If you, you wish to work with it, you can. Alright. Or Morden for them. I'll talk to Morden. <clears throat> Good. I have the statue I'll be over in a moment. Here, Don't even need to ask, my friend. I'll be over in a moment to help clean things up. Thank you. I'll be with him. But do you thought you need of a help? name for your horse? I did. I've taken to calling him Maelstrom. I might, Severick. I just might. Maelstrom. Okay. Mm. A very chaotic but controlled name. Interesting. Exactly. Uh, and why is that? Uh, ship workers and dock work used to come in back in Corocatus and talk about running into this maelstrom of a storm, and I always liked the name. <laughs> Figured it would be interesting. Fair enough. Seems like it's a good maelstrom. name, strong name. Thank you. I think you're the maelstrom. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. The horse will make do, though. <laughs> Go do what you must, my boy. Good morning, Sharik. That could be very entertaining. Uh, I feel like it looks uh, a little... This one's mine. Uh, uh, the oh, point oh. is, uh, business actually, if the forge is open, I was hoping I could help you out. Uh, interesting. Oh, well, well. <laughs> no! Well, yes it is. Crenshaw. Good day, boy. Mm. I was told not to oh. sell myself short. <laughs> Apparently they took most of what he had. Yeah, no one so they, I saw. They punched him in the nose once, but it's not bad. Perhaps with a tribe of wood elves in the forest. Or just run again. Or again. Come. How many more steps back must one take before the line is finally dry? I know for a damn fact that it's not that it's really difficult to beat Come on, let's like get this over with. Cabin. <clears throat> we get the kids somewhere safe and then we can work out how we're gonna get justice for this. Put the sack there. That was everything. My armor, my weapons. We'll get these items out first, including Katrina. You want to store this with us? For now. They don't know the armor. They don't know my 
my identity under it, so it'd be best to leave it somewhere where they think it might be getting worked on. Sure. We have a room actually inside, behind the door. Before the day even starts, because if shit like that's going to happen, who knows what else might actually happen. During my uh, trip up north, just hearing a right. number of rumors, then, news, oh, things that have the institution the north in the north by so the For the, the coast mm. of the capital, apparently there was a, a pirate vessel that was. Uh, Don't you have any iron to work with for an order? <clears throat> Not a lot, I'm afraid, no. This is currently being spoken to. So, by the way, you're gonna have to wait. There is a knocking at the door. You are shot. Uh, yeah, yeah, it... There is business. Business is had. Let's take a look. Pardon us, Godsman. Apprentice. This might get messy. Yes, sir. I do my best. Now, in reward, because we are being very nice, we pay the brewer a good visit. And, well... <laughs> he did not. We seem parched. Sound very appreciative. <laughs> he didn't sound very appreciative when we visited. No. Well, so, what, what could be the problem? Oh, he just did not give the Capitano what he wanted. And therefore, we had to give him a good visit. It we require one potion. Us two will be doing night shift. Okay, Something to help us like, stay then? awake. Something full, um... Well, there's usually wolves or anything going on through the night, thieves! Do we have to usually okay. deal with them? I do have something that I am that I know sure of. that you will give us a good price for this potion, yes. Of course. Uh, we've always given the guard a discount when needed because we know y'all protect us. Beautiful. See? They understand. I'm going to be gathering herbs today. I do have a potion that I know, um... Unfortunately, you might not like me hearing me say it, but the Imperium uses to keep their soldiers awake that I know of, that I can make you. Would that suffice? Ah, that works. That would work you well. Uh, and you just need one bite today, correct? Ah, uh, today, tomorrow's fine. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me look up 
the name of it. Give her a moment, I gotta look up the name real quick. No worries. Listen, as long as people pay their taxes assistance. and they listen to us, we own the town. So. Then the business must be flourishing if they have two assistants. Hmm. Uh, it takes a lot of hands, definitely, for gathering a lot of uh, herbs to be able to meet the needs of the guard, that's for sure. What are you working on? What is the one bubbling uh, over there? Uh, so far we're working on trying to uh, get some healing potions done, because we know we've, that's been a, <laughs> a much-needed item. Need. Okay, so, yes. Bring up to the Capitano uh, to bring up a contract. Uh, uh, we could always use more potions. Oh, we could. Especially with the orcs and everything rolling around. Coming right on our doorstep. Okay, let's Getting. see here. It would be <coughs> Sentinel. Let me get you a price. Meanwhile. Okay, normally, normally the cost of it's just uh, one silver, sixty-five copper. So whatever you think's fair, because um, that's fair. what the materials would cost. Okay, mm. and what was what is the normal oh, discount oh. you give to the guards? Yes, uh, that's the usual price. What is the good discount you give to us? Let's see here. That would be definitely not what I'm charging for us. So it would only be adding, I think. A 20 copper to it because it would keep it under the normal two silver price to everyone else. Ah, uh, that is the price, the 165. Got you. Mm. I understand. Mm. Well, it better be. It is your potion. Fine. 165 it is. Okay. Well, it is your oh. silver. Need. Take it out of the guard's pay. Uh, so 65 would be. <laughs> you bloody cheap scape. <laughs> okay, would she, would she receive just a silver 65, right? <coughs> okay. Yep. All right, and I will get the potion made by this evening. Well, what is your name, sir? So I can uh, see to it. Do I need to bring it up to the front gates of the key? Front gates. Front you gates will be the, the one walking tonight. Samir. 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 Samir? Okay. Alright, I have it written down my ledger. I will get it done today and get it to you this evening. Perfect. Anything else that you all require? No. That is all a good visit for people that are actually working within this bloody town. I try my we best, treat sir. everyone in this town well if they pay their taxes, yes? So, you pay for the taxes, the god will help you. If you do not do what the Capitano wants, well, it will not be good for you, and it will not be good for us. Let's move. Indeed. Right. Sorry to take care of you both. <laughs> Small glare from the man as he walks out. It's a shakedown, Tyler. You've seen speech. thousands of them, it feels like, <laughs> at this point, with your criminal background. They're all the same at heart, one way or the other. Just people who can take doing exactly Looking that. Looking better. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Hate them, period. So tired. Fed up. Those guards just made their way through uh, Clifford's brewery. Broke everything, took everything. He's unable to work now. Yeah, I put... I put the, uh... book in our lockbox. It's hidden in my herb. He fears for his daughter's life. Would it be possible to... Mm -hmm. put her somewhere safe? Behind you. Oh, there you go. Uh, I, um... don't... I think we have anyone who could watch her. We only have one female um, wood elf in the tribe that back it in the grove. Uh, what about, um... Mm -hmm. 
The slave. Um, oh, yes. Oh, she seems... Yeah, Tali, Tali. she's really sweet. She the would be able to let me look her. not able to move around and do the purposes of a parent. It's just for a few days. Unless you want her hobbling all her over make... the building. She's not safe well, she here would in Elvis. She has to be taken somewhere else. Then it would have to be the grove, then. Yeah. I can do see do they the... even have child care skills <laughs> to watch over? I have over. no idea. We only have, we only have one female wood elf out there. The rest are all males. Well, we have two. No, we, we have two. We yeah, have... two. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do have two. The other one's more of a hundred. I'm sure you can give him a rundown well, on how to feed her and such, right? Yes. I can. I'm welcome. I can make a list. Open. I can make a list. Tell them how to prepare food. I'll send him in when I go out. Or... Okay. She's that... busy first thing in the morning. We are. Well, what... What we what we can do is at least let um, her look over her here for the day until I take my trip out to the grove and I can sure. take her with me in my arms. Yeah. All right. Would that work for you? That that will work for me. We're in a position. Anyway. Ugh, you're kind of dying. <clears throat> Am I? I? Was huffing fumes. Repeat what you were now. saying. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, well, we're trying to build up defenses anyways in the grove. We're building a palisade out there as we speak, so. And there's plenty of comfy beds for us to lay a baby down. Okay. Alright. Um, is she asleep right now? If you want, I think, uh, I think she's up at the top third floor. You could probably lay her in the bed up there. Alright, we'll I'll have run back to my to... home, grab what food we have prepared, and then bring it back here okay. with a list of instructions. Okay, okay. And I'll put it in my basket and take her with me. I'm gonna go to, uh, the woods. Alright. Yes, kid, what can I do for you? Ah. Metal does it take to make a long sword? Uh, there's the man you should ask. Oh, perfect. Uh, ten iron ingots. And how many blades would I need to bring in for you to have that much? Depends on the blades. How do you get yourself situated at the forge? Familiarize yourself with the tools, the layouts, everything. The bigger the blade, the more iron we get out of it, <clears throat> essentially. To take some the courier has made a deal with paid. me. He'll pay me and coin uh, if I get you all the metal to make work. him a sword. I have to get everything rounded up before so. this afternoon. Ten iron ingots, so... Two two-handed swords, or... Five, ten daggers, or so you also help you three or four or... one-handed swords. Yeah, I'm a apprentice. That sort of thing. I help um, round. I do what I can. Yeah. Um, I Great. guess I'm also good. I didn't get screwed on the deal the then. Mm. Um. Uh. And how much metal towards uh, making the axe? I don't know, too much about I don't know the final stuff, goal you'll have to talk to to see him. I mean, there's the base. I say you and him thing. I just mark it down. Hmm. <laughs> and he says I should talk to you about the progress. I don't know how much we need, so I don't know how far into the progress you are. Close, I would assume. Good. All right. 
Grazie, Shrek. Cos. Un take more of your time. Uh, Shriek, she wants to talk to you. Good, I want to talk to her. Somewhere private, Elena? Wherever. Let's uh, step inside, stop you from getting headaches. Is it? Cry. Freak, I'm gonna head into the water. We can talk later. Something talk. on your mind? You said you wanted to talk. I find it convenient that every single time I come to find you for training in the morning and know where to be located. Oh. Is it a joke to you, what I'm N supposed to do here? I woke up and tried to find you and you weren't around. So your choice was to go gallivanting instead of practicing riding? No, actually my friend's establishment was broken into and he feared for his child's life, so I tried to make sure that she was somewhere safe. Forgive me. You don't need to be petulant with me when I just and the circumstances. You, uh, stayed out and about last night. Not really keen on staying in your room, how many women you've been bringing. I've been staying upstairs. Balcony. It was, uh, Sarah's request. And be a request all I it's awkward. Sure. Forgive me, I'll um figure something else out next time. It's fine, it's your room. I'll sleep on the canoe. Not like I'm not used to being I've actually been spending more time sleeping on the balcony than I have been in my own room anyway. <laughs> Okay, well, you need to figure out where you're laying claim and bringing your women back so Balcony. that I can. I like the night sky. Fine. Are you actually ready to train today? Or do you have more people you need to save? No one yet. I could give it a shot. It's your horse. Okay. Meet me at the front gate. Shriek. Mm. Right. Mm. I was told by the other blacksmith to talk to you if you have any iron available. What do you need done? You know, to get to experience it. Uh, two daggers identical to one another. Mm. We only have enough for priority orders right now. Uh, I'm gonna try and work something out, and if I can't get that happening, then I will come and find you and work on those two daggers. Very well. I will be around town. Mm. <sighs> All right, buddy. Told. Who 
Holy shit, it works. something else likely i'm uh, heading out Where to train with a Drow apprentice of mine oh don't sound so sad <laughs> also um i figured out the um issue with the saddles we've been having if you switch to different clothes and then switch back oh mm. clever mm. by the way make sure you duck Duck. Right. Good morning. Hey, hot stuff. Looking good up there, Lord. Quiet you. Apologies for being late. I was talking to Tazim. <clears throat> you don't need to apologize to me. I thought you'd be a bit longer. Oh, uh, I can wait if you want. No, I was saying. If yeah. you uh, switch avatars and then switch back, you can adjust your feetsies. Oh, you I got it working. On purpose for riding side saddle. All right. I want to uh, lend your ear about something, if possible. Go on. I've come into possession of quite a substantial amount of iron. How would you feel about getting some armor? I don't think you're going to move very well in armor. I mean, you. Me. Yes. I have a chain. You realize that, right? Would you like plate? I think that's up to your father. He said I, I could use it you. for whatever I want. We'll have to debate. I don't know what the My entire father. material cost would be to get you a full set, so I'll have to check with Morden. But if you're going to be following me about, I'd rather not uh, have a repeat of yesterday. Talk to Morden and see how viable it is. If you would prefer to stay in chain, I. I wasn't the one on the third stable after everything, so. Yeah. I've been working on getting some better armor myself, actually. Okay. Is that going to circumvent your terrible attitude on the field? Terrible attitude being <clears throat> getting my ass handed to me. Terrible attitude being I'm not sure why you were up there by yourself. But you can only be described in anger and beast slaughter. That was definitely involved, yes. But I also knew that this uh, person in charge, Leon, needed to be tied up in melee, otherwise he would have fled. Just over halfway through, actually. Common for you to lose your cool and get so sentimental. No. Hmm. 
it's actually kind of new to me, if I'm honest. Does it have anything to do with your conversation with me last time we were horseback about emotions and keeping check and feelings and all that grub? Something like that. Is it going to be a problem in the future? No, I'll be tying up loose ends soon. person. I'm not hard to believe watching you bleed out, but I also watched you fight and you have to put it there. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you about uh, Marcus. Your disdain for him. What about it? Talk to me about it. There's nothing to talk about. Very, very obvious. Anybody that decides or has the misfortune to be born under golden red is not fan, nor friend of mine. You know, when we go through Gielan, we're going to have to deal with people like that. We um, can't. You speak as if I've never been there before. Well, we can't just kill all of them. Did I kill Marcus? No. But we have to believe that they can change and evolve. Did I say that? You didn't give him a chance. I didn't give him a chance to be my friend. <laughs> I'm allowed to pick and choose who I enjoy relations with. But no, I don't want to drink and make merry in an imperial town. Forgive me. Very well. <clears throat> are we heading somewhere specific or are we riding? Riding. I figured you knew the area better than I did. Sure. Plus, you need to get used to leading. It's not going to be my job to lead, it's going to be to follow. Very well. I'd offer a tour of the area, but I feel like you know it all pretty well, right? Found a few swords in a few different areas here. Traversed it a bit, and my father asked me to go on a bit of a sightseeing mission. <coughs> it's beautiful. Very much. It's not bad, especially in the morning air like this. Skipping out? Was there a crisis every single morning? <laughs> yeah, that's Gradio. I kept up with it when you were gone, though. Assuming I wasn't wounded. We don't have a lot of time left, as your father indicated. I understand that you have a very we're going to need to learn. When some people's problems need to remain their problems, you focus on your own. I'm not saying don't have a heart, I'm saying remember that you need to focus on what's important. I agree. Other I actually brought this up with uh, Tazim last night. goal is to get to Gwen. There was a crossroad here and I came to. He chose to use the path that would 
and Nautus in a better position once we leave. I was of the opinion that we should focus more on getting to Giwan, rather than sticking our necks out for a province that we will be leaving shortly. I understand his reasoning, but... I don't know. My father just simply doesn't want to do the same thing to Nautus that other people did to Giwan. It makes sense. It's not like we're dooming it, though. We just... keep bleeding for other people other than Giwen. And it's frustrating me. But he and s on my words, I agree with you wholeheartedly. He insists on leaving Nautus a better place than when we found it. Which... There's an ability to it, I understand, but... fighting other battles than our own. We keep burning resources. Exactly why I'm confused you want to give me armor when we use it for other things. Do you have other ideas? I assume you do. You realize that soon one day you'll be in the position of making choices and although I'm here to give you counsel, concepts should be from your directive more than mine. You're not going to be a puppet. <clears throat> Do you feel I'm ready to become a lord? No. Then I'll need you to stay alive to keep teaching me. Ergo armor. I don't think anybody is ready to be a lord. I don't think anybody's ready for the responsibility of leading multiple people and making tough choices. That is what Tizim said. themselves in the position of you. Because he's smart. We probably shouldn't go much further than the cross keys here. Orc territory. I'll take your word on it. Should probably turn around. Tell me, a lot of people that came to your bedside when you were almost dying. This is true. Well, tell me about them, obviously. You realize you and your father have planted me in a position where I'm not sure who I'm supposed to trust with your life. <laughs> I see. Most of the people in that room uh, before we left yesterday have bled and protected me in the past, and they would do it again. The girl, uh, short, black hair, goes by the name Wolf. Of course. Her real name is Lisa. Um, she's one of the few I met in Ledford originally. She's become kind of like a sister to me. And I'm navigating that. But she would fight that and die. The ones you were talking about. That concern about caring for them. Yes. It's a new world for me. I've never had a uh, sibling before, so it's strange. But I digress. She is trustworthy to a T. No it's a shame. Not really. I think I would have wanted a sibling growing up. I did. The female drow, you met Sarah. Yeah, and that saved you with an orn. Hmm. We also met in Ledford. 
character in which she was, um... Different than how she is now. She's improved a lot over the years. Learned a lot. She's trustworthy enough. I think I risk sounding racist when I ask this, but she also a sibling. No. That's not her left of him. Say again, sorry. And it was wise that I left the two of you to the room. Oh. No. A uh, while ago, maybe. Not anymore. I think we've evolved past that as people. Where did the plethora of bathhouse workers land? I'll admit, I enjoy their company. They are good people at heart. No. Not as much as you would, say, Sarah or Lisa. They're good people, but I think the more detached from our plans they are, the better for them, and the better for us. Sentimental heart is what's gonna hurt you the most, not a blade in the gut. I'm aware. Miss Venora and her group of... Well... Apothecaries, I guess. Mostly elves. Met Venora in Ledford. Her real name is Faye. She's connected to some spooky, weird shit. She's trustworthy, albeit a little naive, I think. She uses words like pacifist and whatnot. Marcus, I trust enough to do his job. He also subscribes to the nonsense of trying not to kill anyone. Which I don't agree with, but I respect him for holding his values. There's enough to deal with in the world. Killing a few people to get where we need to go isn't the worst crime we can commit. I couldn't agree more. He has heavy reservations about a bunch of friends to take care of you. Um Vezrin, also known as Mirandella. He's a good person. He gets distracted easily by shiny magical things, and he too is a bit naive at times. But he has saved my life more times than I can count. When I first showed up at Ledford, I didn't even have shoes. He gave me a job in the scribery. He gave me my chance. I can read. All right, well. <laughs> then you can't write well. <laughs> it's the handwriting, I just... Look, over the last couple of years, my priorities have been... You know. He got me there. He got me to what I needed to survive, I guess. Well, then I suppose one of your wishy-washy friends can do their part. I'll make sure to kick your ass. Keep you trained and working on your handwriting. Thank you.
Did... Tizim ever tell you about Raylan? Sometimes I take a minute when the trees are thick. Sure. I just didn't hear you so stop. then I'll ask you. Mm -hmm. What is it that you need to do for the rest of the day? Or what's next on your docket? Well, I would like to go through some core training with you if possible. I struggle with horse maneuvers at times. I'm going to check in with a few... Mm -hmm. Race you. Race me. Go on, boy. Come on, boy. Everything squared away. Give me one moment. Take your time. Sorry, I was closing up background. Holy shit. Okay, headache's over. Uh, for the Welcome most back. part, everything is squared away. I'm gonna leave with Venora to make sure Cat gets somewhere safe. And then... Uh, I don't know from there. You might see me in the arena for a few days. I'm is a dead, I have to repay to Nolzis. Is that a good idea? I got a lot of options right now. I don't have the coin to pay her back, even if she wanted it back. How much do you owe her? Seven silvers. Don't go doing anything stupid, okay? Listen, don't worry about it now. When are you guys uh, heading out? God, what is going on with me today? Holy fuck. It's a rough day. I don't try day. to do anything stupid. I'm just... Don't... Good morning, you too? Good morning. Not a lot of options. Where are you, when are you uh, heading out? Sometime this afternoon. Alright, find me if you can. I'd like to be there. Impressive. Mm -hmm. I beat Tazim. No, you didn't fall <laughs> off. Yeah. Shall we, um, what would you recommend? Core strength. You want my honest opinion? Sure. I'd set you up in a river and make you hold a stone and see how long you can fight the curtain for. Kurt, but I hear the rivers here are pretty mean. They're pretty mean, but we could give it a shot. I'm all for trying new things. Need to find a river. Not really familiar with the layout. And follow me then.
Is there anyone else you're particularly curious about? Is there anyone else you are particularly curious about? Sorry, say again. There's an elf has a pension for not really wearing his shirts fully done up. Uh, Markle. Black hair? He's there. <clears throat> He's a merchant. He works with Vezrin. I've only met him since moving to Nautis. He has an interesting skill set, and I don't trust him fully. I think that's the smart way. Some people are, um... They have skill sets that work for us. It's a balancing act, I suppose. It is. The topography is amazing. Any further upstream and we're probably going to run into orcs, so here's probably the safest. She looks like she's just pissed off with the horse.
lot nicer out here. Out of the city. Yeah, quiet. We'll take some more rides out then. I don't think it's wise to ride around by myself right now. Especially after the smash and grab we did at that size. Fair. My assumption is, is that if we're going to pull this off, I've heard a lot of things about this river, you might want to ask God. Understood. So I've got rope, and I'm going to tie it to you. You're going to swim. Against the current. As hard as you can. And then when you can't anymore, pull you out. Fishing. <clears throat> Rail bait. Gotta catch all that. Uh, Coco, are you free? Uh, Maple, you free? Oh, I'll drop I want to know. Hello. Yes. What's up? Uh, I'll drop down. Go ahead, Bronze. Need something? Um, yeah, Elena's doing some training with Kyla. That's a little dicey. Um, we might need a DM here, if you think. Um, what, what do you mean dicey? Okay, so we've made our way to the river in the woods, and she apparently wants to tie Kyla, and so he's going to swim against the current to train his core. Ooh, yeah. Very cool. Um, so if you want to put a DM here. Or just do like a roll here, whatever works for you. Lords, everything Give me one second, I'll do update. what I can. Fantastic. Me. I'll move back up. We may be getting the man himself. He seemed oh. very interested. <laughs> <clears throat> he goes, ooh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's the, uh, what's the deal? Spooks, are you trying to kill my son? <laughs> He's waterboarding. <clears throat> if you want to work on your core, one of the best things to do is swimming. But swimming out in the ocean, number one. Dangerous. Number two, the tide doesn't give you much to work with at the shore length. So... I'm going to tie a very secure line to your waist and you're going to work against the current. It's the best natural position you have for strengthening your core. Swimming upstream is going to work not only your legs and your arms, but whatever the hell that is in your midsection. I think people call them abs. I don't think you can constitute anything that small abs. Rude, but I see. You know, there's. I mean, a... it from an actual physical standpoint. They you know, could be better. There's a waterfall down that way, right? So don't let go of me. That actually sounds really pretty. No, I'm not going to let go of you. We can uh, of you. have a look afterwards if I'm still alive, mm. if you'd like. I'm literally going to tie off the end of the rope to a rock. Okay. I'm going to anchor the middle. Let's get to it then. Do you not trust me? No, I trust you. I mean, your whole job is to keep me alive, right? I don't think waterboarding counts as babying. It's not waterboarding, you complete child. <sighs> Coco. 
Kyler, this is what's gonna happen, because I have to go DM things. Sure. With these attempts that you take place, <clears throat> the first time you try to, with the four, it's going to be disastrous. You're gonna get pulled under the carts. You're gonna have trouble getting yourself on pace, and Orlena is actually gonna have to help you to the uh, shoreline. This is gonna piss you off, and you're gonna try two more times. The second time, you're gonna get a natural 20. Perfect breaststroke. You're gonna keep pace with the river and begin to slowly make ground. However, of course, you'll get tired, come back to the shore, and for a third time, when you get sent down <clears> with an 18, you'll be able to keep pace. Overall, Orlena, you did all right. All right. Um... Okay. Don't worry, hold on. Like I said, I'm anchoring you. Sometimes I won't trust my hands. Turn around. God, you're small. It's not my fault. There. You're tied up. And I just... and then start... Into the river. <sighs> you know how to swim? But, yep, I do. It's just weird. Do that. We really have to work on that core, apparently. <sighs> as light as a piece of fabric. My ribs are fucking powder at this point. Okay, let me try again. <sighs> okay, hold on. Catch your breath. It's training. <sighs> Not impress upon Orlena time. You no, have to gain something from this. I just... <sighs> Take a fucking breath. Don't jump in there like an idiot. Wade in. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna make you snap inhale. Don't let it do that. That's your first problem. You have to make sure you have full lungs when you get in there. Don't let the cold shock a lot of you. Now go. Lower expectation. Are you there? Hey, yeah. Come on. Uh, Don't rest in the water in case it knocks you off your feet. Right. That was better. Much better. Yeah, you're right. If I just kind of. We took ego last time. Like I said, it's a good exercise and also pacing yourself. You're right. Can't just <sighs> jump in to things without taking a breath first. Kind of like battle. Assess it. 
Enter at a medium to controlled pace. Find your footing, or your floating, I guess, in this situation. And then give help. Right. I think I'm ready again. All right. Uh. Exercise and trust too, Kyla. Fuck. First I'll pull you back. You see, he's wrestling with that. enough to push yourself to the point in training like that you're not going to learn yeah I think it's the um that whole fear of failure thing we talked about I'm still getting used to it I'll work on it Kyla if you fail it's not your failure it's mine that's even worse. It's my job to get you ready. It's my responsibility as much as it is yours, Belida. And I suppose you need to start looking at it as our responsibility, huh? Yeah. Which is why you need to trust me when I say I'll pull you back out. I'll work on it. You're so uptight, you know that? Uptight? Mm hmm I don't have the stamina to have a clever comeback for that. That's so nice. Yeah. You have a lot of people that trust you, but you don't seem to trust a lot of people. Correct. Smart. I don't expect you to trust me right away. That's a lesson I learned with a lot of mistakes, so... Hmm. Is that all for today, or... Do you want me in there again? I think I still have some writing I need to get you to do. Right. But it depends. Oh, no. Are you satisfied with your training, or...? I think I feel... Shall I give you another... Thoroughly exhausted. motivation. And with that, you'll feel... A foot on the back of your foot, and... <laughs> but you will notice that the rope is secure, <laughs> and she's giggling from shore. He's going to tug on the rope as best he can. Okay, I'm the one who's training here, and if I fall in the water, 
Well, <laughs> You're also <laughs> wearing a chain. Exactly. We'll sink like a rock. Well, that's a way to wake up. <sighs> <laughs> you did okay. Thank you. Can I put my clothes back also, on now? Also, for your information. Mm -hmm. I'm not half bad at swimming in chain. Really? You should see what my dad put me through when we did this training. <laughs> that would have been interesting. Try yourself before you trip up the hill. back yeah we're uh, going to try and ride as comfortably close to my horse as you can within sword striking distance at a moderate speed in order to make sure I'm going to put ropes on the horses next now here's the stress of it if you don't steer right you're going to hurt your horse if you steer too close you're gonna hurt me and my horse but the trust exercise, because there are probably going to be times when you need to be within striking distance on your horse, Kyla. 